process of negotiation and uh, that matter will settle uh, within a court framework. The reason why I'm saying that uh, what the doctors are asking for are not outlandish, they are not out of the ordinary, ordinary and, and I believe that they are not things that uh, can make us uh, go into hostility, uh, meet violence against the doctors, or talk at each other instead of talking with each other. For example, the doctors are talking about the expedition of the promotion of all doctors who are due for promotion. They're not saying uh, promote every doctor, they're saying those who are due for promotion. And if you look at the number of demands that we have made, if you go through them sequentially, there are demands which can, can be dealt with within the context of the law and the constitution. And the government, uh, the national government and the county government have got responsibility and obligations under the, under the Constitution. Under Article 43 of the Constitution, uh, the government, and that would include the national government and the county government, are supposed to provide uh, medical services or health at the highest, highest attainable standard. That's a constitutional remedy. So if anything goes wrong in the health sector, uh, by dint of the Constitution of Kenya, we in the county government and in the national government uh, must take uh, responsibility in trying to make sure that the people of Kenya are not denied uh, these constitutional uh, rights. Uh, the question of uh, interns, for example, uh, the interns, uh, you know, there was an agreement before on how the interns sh should be treated. And I, I think teaching interns casually uh, is callous. These are well-trained people. Uh, in other sectors and disciplines, people get their degrees within three or four years. Uh, doctors take a little longer. And as interns, they provide an essential service uh, in, the, in health in the medical sector and what they are saying is not really uh, to, be, uh, to be paid some outlandish sum uh, what they are saying they should be paid what was agreed and which is contained in the C CBA I want to contextualize this uh, with CIA for example what we have been able to do uh, and that um, makes me believe that this is achievable uh, for example all our doctors in CIA are on a permanent and pensionable terms of, of, of employment, except those who are seconded to, uh, to, to our Department of Health through arrangements with the national government or through other partners. But otherwise, we employ them under permanent and pensionable terms. And this idea of, uh, you know, uh, demanding that uh, doctors be subject to contractual employment as, as opposed to permanent and pensionable terms. That will amount to discrimination. Every other sector people are being employed on permanent and pensionable terms. Lawyers are being paid, uh, you know, uh, recruited on permanent and pensionable terms. Engineers the same, architects the same. So when they say they want to be recruited and uh, employed on permanent and pensionable terms. I, I don't think that is a, an unreasonable demand. Um, uh, for example, in CIA, every doctor who has received admission for special training in any institution of learning or training that is recognized under the Republic of Kenya, we, 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 we release them and uh, without uh, uh, any hurdles so that they get that opportunity, although we contract them to come back uh, after, after that kind of training. Um, and again, the other thing that we are doing is that uh, we are continuing to recruit more doctors subject to a budgetary limitation. But, but uh, you know, the doctors are talking about, you know, the need to employ more doctors because we don't have enough doctors in, in public institutions. And, you know, the, the other thing that we've done as a county is to um, make sure
sure uh, that uh, our consultants uh, are given the right grade, the right job grade. Uh, for example, under the collective bargaining agreement, all consultants are, are required to be employed under the job with R. That we have done uh, in, in Seattle. We could do better. Um, and, uh, you know, I am enumerating this as against the demands that the doctors are making to demonstrate uh, that it is possible for us to talk with these doctors and reach an amicable solution so that uh, we don't get these disruptions in the public, uh, public sector. A huge part of uh, the country depends on services uh, offered in the public health institutions. And when they're disrupted, uh, our people have nowhere to go. Uh, finally, I would want to uh, appeal to the national government. There is another complaint that the doctors are making, delay in payment of salaries. Uh, for example, in the county of Siaya, we have not received exchequer releases uh, from the month of December, I think we, we, uh, we got an advice that we probably will be getting or are getting the exchequer release of the month of January. That translates into delay in paying salaries, including the of, of doctors. And this speaks to the way the Treasury uh, is running, you know, uh, the uh, financial uh, sector insofar as counties are concerned. And in this case, where doctors are complaining, uh, complaining about delay in payment of salaries, constant delay, uh, it speaks to uh, the fact that uh, we are not uh, paying our uh, people on time, especially professional, professional uh, as, as doctors. And therefore, I would want uh, to challenge the president that he should leave to the promises he made. Uh, these were problems that were there before, they were not resolved, some of them are historical problems. Uh, at the time when he was not occupying that high office, uh, he, he made statements to the effect that the Kenya Kwanza government would find it easy uh, to deal with the problems like this. But now that he's in high office, uh, it is becoming evident uh, that uh, uh, we are in a financial crisis that we do not want to admit. And if doctors had to be addressed directly on that question, and the, the, the Treasury can demonstrate that it cannot be paid uh, what the doctors are demanding, uh, then that, that, that would be an appropriate case to make around the table. But this is happening in circumstances where other sectors, I including in the political sector, people are asking for more allowances, more salary increases. Uh, in the independent commissions, people are getting more salaries, more uh, 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 allowances, and there is no complaint. We are even uh, enthusiastic about taxing people every other day. Uh, and yet when it comes to meeting this critical obligation, uh, the government finds it, finds it very difficult. So um, the president uh, should live up to his promise and treat doctors as professionals. And if treat them as professionals, I think this problem can be resolved around the table instead of being resolved on the street. Thank you very much.